So this is a, uh, our human and robot called Emu. So now uh, he will introduce by himself, <laughs> not me. So please start. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Emu. I am a humanoid service robot developed by Hitachi in Japan. From here, I will talk in English. Today, I want to introduce myself and talk briefly about Hitachi's research in robotics. As you may know, there are many kinds of robots. Industrial robots are used in factories to assist in manufacturing and warehousing products. Recently, you might have seen the autonomous or self-driving vehicles around town. Hitachi also makes such autonomous robots and vehicles. Some of you may have seen a smart speaker. And I and other robots are currently working in public spaces such as airports, to help people and society. Now, let's look back briefly on Hitachi's history of robot development. Our robots were initially developed only for industrial applications and work well in such harsh environments. They are typically enclosed in cages to ensure the safety of the factory workers. As the technology has continuously improved, our robots can work in very harsh environments such as a nuclear reactor. So this is an inspection robot. <laughs> also, as our robot improved its ability to move, it can be used for complex handling of objects, for example in a warehouse. Finally, please see how I can help. 
Não, foi bem melhor na festa. can be controlled and how I can help you and your teachers and visitors in either on school later. Have a great time. Hope you are enjoying today's workshop. Okay, so this is a skit help introduction. So we, uh, we uh, Hirachi is currently uh, thinking uh, to develop the new business field in this US scale, uh, in this US. So one example is the education field. This good uh, poster is uh, some example to utilize EMU in school. So right poster is to uh, utilize for the safety. So for example, EMU can walk around your school and uh, find the defects or to find the piping or to keep the safety at the about the point, something. Right, the uh, last right poster is uh, another application that is uh, education assistant. And you can walk around your classroom and uh, to help uh, teachers or students. Some examples, so this teachers uh, show that to uh, find a missing person in the classroom. And this teacher shows uh, to show uh, to help the uh, uh, homework of the student. Or this teacher is represent uh, to translate from the Spanish to English or Japanese to English or Chinese to English or something like that. So the next session is a programming session. So Emil have the many capabilities and uh, each function is made of the repo block. So now we, uh, we want you to, to try some functions by using uh, programming. So Rory, could you help for that? I will do that. How are you all doing? Enjoy your day. Thank you, Mr. Stephen Duffel, sir. What do you guys see? Do you see our microscope next to us? No microscope, but this is very cool. Um, what do you guys, you're all into science though? All interested in science careers? Good, smart. We have so for robotics, we have coding. You guys code? You guys know how to code? So that's a big area. So what we're going to do now is we're going to program, you guys are going to program um, MU. Um, we're going to give you some actions, and you guys pick four of them. And then he's going to perform these actions. So, you okay? Yeah. You know that? Yeah. So, let's, why don't you guys go ahead and pick, pick one at a time, pick one. We'll stick it up there. Mm -hmm. Which one? Go by, think. Go by. Go by. Go by. Do that one last. Take photo. Take photo. And come on. This is the actual uh, MU's 
environment, uh, developing environment. So actually, uh, uh, each node represents uh, each function of the element. But uh, actually, there is uh, many coding behind uh, each node. So let's try how it works. Let's do this Okay, fine. This is a kind of like this. And the pictures and fun. Provide uh, this kind of robots to the customers. Of course, uh, 